I'm going for women representative seat in Nairobi County. My name is Margaret Wayona. I'm vying as an MCA member of County Assembly here in Nairobi at the city centre. My name is Adina Awor Agai and I'm a social justice activist and I'm also a community organiser. Now I'm running for the seat of Nairobi, Nairobi Women County Rep. My name is Adol Kazwanjiro. I am a candidate. I'm vying for an MP in Luanaka constituency. My name is Elizabeth Manyala. I'm vying for Ward Rep. Kayole Sao. My name is Grace Atieno Omondi. Vying a Makadara parliamentary seat. My name is Arusi Midaka. I'm now uh, a candidate. I'm fine in Makas West with UDF ticket. Eh? My name is Mary Mwangi. I'm fine for uh, the position of a member of the National Assembly in Makasi East. When we started the Center for Multiparty Democracy in 2004, we realized that uh, although we had been fighting for a long time for multi-party politics, and yes, there were many parties, we started inviting these parties for discussions, and then we realized these parties had no women. It was just male, able-bodied men. There were no women, there were no youths, there were no persons with disability, there were no minorities. And Article 27 of the Bill of Rights talks very clearly about gender equality and that we must have affirmative action and that we must legislate to have that affirmative action. Unfortunately, the 10th parliament, any time that discussion came, there would be two or three people in the house, yet we needed 148 members sitting in the house to make the relevant legislation that would allow for the affirmative action bill to be in place. You don't delay those rights. That's why you are saying you must affirm now, today. You don't delay those rights that are supposed to be affirmed immediately. And then there was no reason to delay. The women are there. It is just that the systems that we have do not allow for women to be elected. Meaning, the mindset that we have as a nation is a woman is to be trampled on, stolen and even beaten. There were women who were beaten during the nominations. Apparently by then the thugs had been hired to block me from entering the turning station. But somehow I managed and entered. And uh, when uh, the exercise was going on, there was security. There was the OCS, whom I, when I saw, I thought God has had my prayer. But to my disappointment, this OCS was also bought. And one of the candidates who is not here also, the aspirant, who is not here with, with me also, saw what was happening and started making noise. And we started making noise. But he picked on this candidate. The OCS we supposed to 
take care of us with the police officers who were inside and they had machine guns. They beat this girl. That was at around two in the morning. They beat her up. She was thrown out of the telling center. The goods who were outside waited for her and descended on her. They poured water on her. They, I think, even removed her clothes. I think she broke her hand. And I started making noise. I told the OCS, you cannot do that. You're supposed to protect us and all of us. And he said, who are you? And he put a gun on my, on my neck. And I told him, shoot me. Shoot me. And it will go on record that I was shot by an OCS. And by then, again, the goons were waiting and avenging for my blood outside, that remover we want to kill her outside, you know? why it was important for parliament and the courts to affirm women in advance because not only are you going to be beaten by your opponents you are also you are you, even when you win your certificate is stolen and the amounts of money needed in Kenya <coughs> again because parliament has refused to pass the campaign finance bill which was supposed to put a ceiling as to how much money you can spend as a candidate. When it comes to security, as for me, you will not know which way I have come to. Because if today I might use a motorbike, another day I might be in a taxi, and another day I will be in my car, and I might leave my car here, you think that I'm here, but I am not there. <laughs> because as women, there is no way if you are vying as a parliamentary candidate, as a woman, or ward, or which, whichever seat, there is no way that the men will be comfortable. Because they know that there is a wave, as of now, of electing women. So the best way, appear and disappear. Right now, I would want, I would feel like my life is uh, threatened. But should I put that in my mind? I will not be able to do what I ought to do. And maybe that they want to instill fear in us as women. So I think it is important to identify people of goodwill to work with you wherever you go. There cannot be security. The policemen will do nothing if you people, you are not policing us, you yourself. So you should be our good policemen, take care of us. When you see one trying to harm a woman, or coming even up with bad propagandas. Please, make sure that you tell that person to stop. When I started uh, being in the, in the, wanting to participate in politics, there were very few women. And I'm so encouraged to see you coming out. And I'm also encouraging my younger sisters to keep coming and supporting the campaigns. So utilize even the young daughters, the young sisters. Bring them on board because the more they see, even the young men start seeing thinking, oh, that team has more young women, maybe I should go and support, and they'll also be the security also, because they don't want to hurt their future girlfriend. So, so, so. sometimes you have to use the gender play a little bit so you can get your way. But keep on and be behind you and watch. Just listen to our policies, listen to what we are planning to do for you people, if we win, you, if we win your hearts, please vote for us as women. 
vote for women candidates. You shall not only be just you electing women, but you shall actually be defending the Kenya Constitution, saying equality matters, inclusivity matters, participation matters.